bonjour, <laughs> it's Mary in Paris, and it is a lively Sunday here. I am in a park that is in one of my favorite spots, and because it's Sunday, lots of people are out, so you will definitely hear the sounds of Paris in the background. And I want to start by saying that while I hope you watch all the videos on my channel, if you only watch one, I hope that it's this one because I have a message for you that was absolutely life-changing for me and it's something that I have been sharing now for about 10 years because I came across this idea 10 years ago and it completely changed my entire life. And that is the idea, not the idea, actually, the truth, that you are not broken. You are not broken. You do not need to be fixed. You don't need to spend all this time trying to fix something that isn't broken. I have a lot of years, unfortunately, of experience being told that I was a broken person in need of fixing, except for one thing. <laughs> of the two dozen plus professionals I saw over a 30 year period, not one of them indicated that I could ever be fixed, that I could be, you know, brought up to some what they thought was a normal standard of human experience, I guess, because every single one of them approached me from this angle of, there is something irretrievably broken about you. There's nothing you can really do about it. So you're gonna just have to learn to manage what you're dealing with. And that's the best you're gonna be able to do. That's literally what they all told me, some version of that. And it wasn't until 2014 that I came across something entirely different <laughs> that suggested, hey, what if it's not true that you're actually broken? What if it's not true that you need to fix yourself? It was absolutely transformational. The idea that what I was experiencing was actually not a pathology, but was simply being a normal person and having normal human thoughts, normal human feelings, and that I didn't need to try to fix them because there was nothing wrong with them. And therefore there was nothing wrong with me. I couldn't begin to describe in a short video how much this has affected me. If you want to see, just look at some of my other videos on this channel or read some of the books that I've written because it's been the most mon monumental shift of my life other than having my daughter. But the fact that someone was finally giving me permission to stop seeing myself as a broken person, that someone was giving me permission to stop trying to quote unquote manage myself, that changed everything. It changed everything. It meant that I didn't have to pay so much attention to all of these thoughts and feelings that I was having on a daily basis, that instead of listening to all of that and trying to manage it or stop it, which I couldn't anyway, even after all of those decades, I still had no ability to control any of that. I could just stop and I could start listening to something deeper. I could start listening to what I would call my real self, our real self with a capital S. There's a spider <laughs> near me right now and I am highly allergic, so I'm gonna just move it out of the way. There we go. <laughs> but when I stopped trying to quote unquote manage my feelings and my thoughts and I just let them be there and I let them happen and just rode with them, what started to occur was that I felt the power that I was made of that was underneath all of that. And I started to access that power more consciously. So 
within a year of this discovery that, oh, hey, actually maybe nothing's wrong with me and I don't have to keep working on myself. I had left a job that I didn't like at all. Within a year after that, I had started my own business. And within a year after that, after that I had moved over here. And I don't think that that's a coincidence because we are not obligated to keep trying to fix something that's not broken. Instead, we can use this creative power, this creative force that we have been given just by being human and use it in any way that is calling to us. What would your life be like if you weren't spending all of this time trying to fix something that wasn't broken? We have you know, billion dollar industries built around this idea that there's something wrong with us, you know, the pathology of the month kind of thing. And I don't want to try to impugn these professionals who are attempting to help people. What I am saying though, is I think that many of them are looking in the wrong direction. And you and I have the ability to look in a different direction. We can start to see ourselves as perfectly healthy and okay and fine. We can start to ignore any thoughts that go through our heads that suggest otherwise. We can start to listen to that deeper self, capital S self, and we can start to act from that creative power and start to live more the way that we want to live. And again, I want to put that question to you. What would your daily life look like? If you stopped trying to quote manage yourself and you simply started to live the way that you want to live, if you stopped seeing yourself as broken, what would you start doing? How would your creativity start to come to the fore? I know for me and for many people I've spoken to over the years, this is the most transformational thing that they have ever heard. And I'm not taking full credit for that, obviously, but this notion that you can't be broken, you've never been broken, you never will be broken, there's nothing about you that needs to be fixed, is absolutely life-changing. What is so cool about it is that it then allows you even more permission to change whatever you want to change. I wanted to change my job. I wanted to change my life entirely. I wanted to move to a foreign country. I wanted to write books. I wanted to do all of these things. Well, the only reason in my view that I was able to do all of that and continue to uh, explore these different aspects of myself is because I spend zero time trying to fix myself. I spend zero time trying to manage myself in that way. I don't pay attention to thoughts that tell me that there's something wrong with me. I don't pay attention to anyone else who's trying to tell me that because that's just not true. The truth is that you and I are much bigger than this little form that we're in. We're much bigger than any thought that floats through our heads that says there's something wrong with us or that, you know, we are a broken person. It's just not true. And I have more videos on my channel about this topic. I will certainly talk about it even more. But for right now, I want you to sit with that truth that you are not broken and nothing about you needs to be fixed or changed. How would your life be if you started to live from that truth every single day?